Good day traders and investors, Roger Scott here, senior strategist for The Trading Pub. Now, it's not the usual morning video I do. It's actually a video that I recorded the night before. It's in the evening of October 5th. Tomorrow morning, by the time you watch this video, I'll be on my way to Houston. I'm flying out. Tomorrow's my 22nd wedding anniversary. So I'll be flying out with my wife. Uh, I'm gonna be having fun, but uh, the, the VIP room will be open. The telegram will be working. I'm not gonna be at my desk, but if there's something really juicy I need to tell you, I'll, it'll be on there. Now, don't forget to like our YouTube channel. That's the Roger Dash Scott YouTube channel. Subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our Telegram channel. You can find the link below or above or go to rogerscott.com forward slash Telegram and get it there. Now, let's get into this video. Markets are random right now. There's not a lot of action. There's not much going on. The big, big news is going to be the employment situation. The employment reports coming out. The big factor here is the unemployment rate. They're looking at a number between 3.6 and 3.9 percent. I'm looking at around 3.7, which is the consensus. This is either going to solidify or uh, negate the JOLTS report and the ADP report, which are were in line that showed that uh, there are more job openings than they expected. Uh, let me just want to show you the difference. They were looking at 8.75, they got 9.6, and that really rattled the market because that means the Fed can continue raising. And tomorrow's employment report is going to solidify that. It's either going to say, yeah, it's true or not. Now, while this is going on, keep your eye on where's the bond market? Where is the bond market? Come on, bond market. The market's going to be looking for direction. The stock market's going to be looking for direction from the stock market. And we're coming to the eight day EMA. And what will happen, what will happen is we are going to experience either a pullback to the EMA or we're gonna come down and we're gonna hit support and we're gonna break down. Vol volume is high, but tomorrow it's not gonna just stay here aimlessly. It's either gonna go up or it's gonna come down and the stock market's gonna react. So it's very, very important that you watch this report. It's, it's happening at 8.30 in the morning, probably right around the time this video drops, but the market doesn't open up for another hour, so you could be looking at the futures. And right now, there there's nothing going on, and I'm pretty sure nothing's going to be going on till tomorrow morning, but 8.30, you need to watch these things. Now, as far as sectors, let me just uh, show you what's going on right now. S&P's consolidating. It really is looking for that data. QQQ is doing a little bit bare, better, but still not doing great. Financials are starting to rock and roll. That's positive. Small caps look like they finally hit a little bit of a bottom so far. Industrial, mm -mm. Consumer, sta consumer staples, don't say I didn't warn you. They've been, they've been just hammered. And remember I told you in this morning's video how we had earnings and they're all the way on the bottom and they, they may go weaker. Well, there you have it. There you have it. Uh, energies are not really having a great time, but they, they caught a bit at least. Utilities look like they're about to come down once again. Uh, retail is horrible. Real estate starting to catch a bit. Healthcare is ca catching a bit. I actually starting to like healthcare. Higher, higher tops, uh, higher bottoms as well. Um, but all in all, not really anything eventful. Dow Jones is, is 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 doing horrible. And if you look at the strength right now, including today, you'll see technology, QQQ, communication, consumer discretionary, tech, 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 tech heavy. Over a week's period. You got very mixed healthcare, technology, you got communication, but it's it's highly mixed. But in the last few days, because of this move in the bond market and this higher yield, um, technology has not been impacted by it, which is really strange, right? You would think the bond market would react, I mean, technology would react to the bond market. No. Uh, utilities, energies, consumer staples, I guess their earnings expectations for technology and all of these stock, all of the stocks in here for the upcoming earnings seasons must be really, really good because it seems like the stocks that are being impacted by higher rates are generally impacted like home builders, utilities, um, even energies, uh, con definitely consumer staples. But, but at the same time, you would think technology would be down there as well. But again, the market works in mysterious ways and we've had a lot of sector rotations. Now let's talk about nitty gritty right now. The best sectors right now, the the best sectors right now for upside, 
that I'm seeing right now is the XLC sector, which is part of the communication service sector. It's right at the 100-day moving average, okay? I like this. And by the way, the irony here, not really irony here, if you look at the constituents, notice Google, Meta, right? Stocks that we've been talking about lately. Now, also NVIDIA. Now, NVIDIA, this is important. NVIDIA is right now right below the 50-day moving average. Institutional traders are very attracted to these lines. Notice it hit the 50-day. It bounced hard. There's a lot of, there's look, this between uh, 151 and 132. It's like 20 points in here. Well, it seems right now it's moving to the upside. If that's the case, if it starts moving a little higher, it may be in play tomorrow. All right. Now, again, the report tomorrow is going to set the, so, the, set the tone of the day, but it's either going to hit back towards the 100 or it's going to break through and you're going to see some volatility. So again, watch the first half hour tomorrow and see what happens, but keep your eye on the 50-day moving average and NVIDIA. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oracle. Oracle is starting to move. I like this. I like this move in Oracle. Now, I may be a little premature, but I really like the fact that it broke above this area, this consolidation here. And what's the market been doing? You know what the market's been doing the last few days. It hasn't been pretty. It's moving a little higher. I think we have a little bit of an upside. Watch Oracle as well. Now, I'm also going to give you some stocks to the upside and to the downside on my watch list. On this, I would usually do this watch list tomorrow at about 8.30, but I'm going to do it right now for you so you could see exactly how I do and what I'm looking at. So I'm, I'm liking CBOE. I like the volume. I like the fact that it took out the high. This is definitely on my watch list besides nvidia and oracle fn it completely rallied and i love this this uh this uh consolidation right here this kind of rounded bottom consolidation a little flat here i like this breakout i like how volume's increasing fn definitely definitely a stock that i would watch right now that's on my radar now to the downside to the downside where do we start right boy where do we start seriously we've got FC, FCX, that's definitely going to be on my watch list tomorrow. Pepsi, well, Roger, it's overdone. Look at this bar. It's going to bounce. It's no, Stop thinking that way. It closed on the low. There's no reason for it to bounce. It may. You got to use risk control. But this is where funds were, were hammering today. There's no reason for them to stop, at least in the morning. So keep your eye. It has to go on your watch list. If it opens down a lot and then starts going up, you got a problem. I would watch this the first hour or two. I would wait for it to establish a nice trend and then continue. Again, I'm just trying to get you to understand what I'm looking at. Um, let's see. What else we got here? Did I miss anything? FCX, Pepsi. Let's see. If you like this style of video, let me know. I, I'd, appre I'd appreciate it. You could post the link below. Oh, Carvana. Carvana. It's breaking down. I've been meaning to, to tell you guys about it. See this level right here? It's breaking down. Give it a little bit more. If it comes down tomorrow to uh, 3404, it may be ready. Put a little alert at right now. It's at like uh, 3470. A little down, just a hair down. This stock can move, as we all painfully know. Uh, put an alert there, just a little bit lower, and we're in season. I like the stock to the downside. I was just telling Matt about it. I don't have the key. But yeah, I do, actually. This moving average, it's, it's right. Notice it's right out there. It can break. Uh, let's see here. What else do we like? Let's see here. Procter and Gamble can break down nicely from here. Keep an eye on Procter and Gamble. No joke. Dow Chemical, it can break down from here. Match.com has more downside. Wolf Speed has more downside. Let's see here. What else I got? I think I've given you plenty to chew on. Now, remember, if the market starts bolting up tomorrow, these stocks are not going to go down. And the stocks that I told you to the long side are not going to go up if the market is, uh, is, is down 400 points. But this will help put you in the right direction. Look at this HES. HES. It doesn't really, well, let's see. Actually, 
No, it's right at support. It's got to break this a little bit. It's got to go down to here, and then it doesn't have anything all the way to 134. Again, these are stocks to watch. These are stocks to watch. ADM, oh baby, ADM. Yeah, ADM, can. it needs to go just a hair lower, but if it does, it's ready to go. Uh, let's see what I got here. Hmm. Depend, depends on tomorrow's decision, but here's another one, KBH. All right, I think I've given you enough to look at. As far as sectors, I think technology, unless unless there's some crazy decision tomorrow with the, with the report, I mean, unless there's something crazy here, I think technology will start at continue edging higher, and I think the consumer staples, which look very, very weak, I think they're going to head lower. That's something that I could really, really see happening. And uh, before I let you go, this is very important. <clears throat> Folks, are you tired of just holding stocks for a little 1%, 2% gain? What if I told you there's a brand new discovery in the options market, a pricing mismatch that could turn 1% moves on stocks into gains like 51% in the options market? Ooh, I like that. Now, this discovery has a 41 times better uh, than in the S&P 500. It outperformed by 41 times over the last decade, drop the overpriced options and tap into the power of this pricing mismatch. Everybody likes bargains, right? I love bargains. Click the link below and you'll be on your way. I want you guys to have a great weekend. Send me an email, no customer service emails, but any other emails, let me know if you have any questions and I'll get back to you. Post your, your questions below this video. It's, and that way everybody will share in the experience. The VIP room will be open today. And hopefully you'll have a great weekend and let me know how you're doing. Bye.